I know you've been worried about how to deal with your money and finances as a result of your separation or divorce. I would be really surprised, actually, if you weren't worried. Hi, my name is Thomas O'Malley. I'm an experienced family lawyer in Durham Region and the GTA. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so already. Here's the seven big mistakes you need to avoid in your separation or divorce in dealing with your finances. Number one, spending large amounts of money before your separation or divorce is finished or completed. You should not spend large amounts of money after your marriage or relationship ends. If you earn more money than your spouse, your former spouse or their lawyer could easily allege that you're making more money since they see you spending large amounts of money now after your separation or divorce has started. If you're spending this money based on funds from a line of credit or a credit card, you're still liable for these amounts of money that you're spending. If you spend large amounts of money on a joint line of credit or take these funds from a joint bank account, you might be responsible for paying these funds back to your ex-spouse as part of a separation agreement or a final court order. In short, you should not suddenly start spending large amounts of money when you're getting separated or divorced. It's just not a good idea. Number two, not closing joint bank accounts and joint credit cards. You should take half of the funds in a joint bank account and close the joint bank account if you can, so that your spouse does not take all the fun, does not take all these funds from the account. Remember, you'll probably have to arrange to have your automatic payments for monthly bills changed to another bank account to make sure there's no disruption in the payment of these monthly bills. You definitely need to stop the use of any joint credit cards and joint lines of credit so that you don't suddenly find that your spouse has used them and you owe thousands of dollars now that you didn't otherwise owe. Big mistake number three, not getting full financial disclosure from your spouse. You cannot settle the key financial issues in your separation or divorce without full financial disclosure from your former spouse. Your former spouse must provide you with a detailed financial statement, setting out their income, assets, and debts. You also need their supporting documents that show the value of their assets and the amounts of their debts. You must also provide full financial disclosure to your former spouse as well. I will discuss four other big mistakes in dealing with your finances and your separation or divorce in the next video. If you have any questions about your separation, divorce, or family law case, and you'd like our help, feel free to contact me on my Facebook law office page, that's O'Malley Family Law, or call me at 905-434-8837 and I'll point you in the right direction. Please remember to share this important information and video with your friends, family members, and co-workers.